As you know, our agenda is the Russia-Ukraine war. The war continues in all its reality on the front line. While the parties continue their mutual attacks, interesting developments are taking place in the background. The most prominent situation in times of war is chaos. States should base their strategic planning on combating chaos. Systematic and democratic countries are successful in dealing with crises. Authoritarian countries, on the other hand, may have difficulty in finding solutions because the necessary sensitivity in the distribution of powers cannot be ensured. With the impact of technological developments, it is now possible to access news from anywhere at any time. In addition, developments in imaging systems show the most important details on the battlefields to those who are interested. With the use of unmanned aerial vehicle technology for imaging and reconnaissance purposes, it has become quite easy to obtain images from battlefields, obtain intelligence, and convey images to the public. Russia's full-scale invasion attempt against Ukraine has been going on for a long time. The successful struggle of the Ukrainian army and the Ukrainian people has put Russia in a very difficult situation. Moscow expected to achieve its goal in a short time, but Ukraine's strong resistance pushed Russia far away from its goals. The revolutionary moves of the Ukrainian army surprised not only Russia, but also the world. The Ukrainian government, which has made significant innovations in its war strategies, owes its success largely to this. The Ukrainian army, which has been actively using unmanned aerial vehicles since the first days of the war, is also hitting Russian targets with ease. The images that emerged in the past days were recorded by Ukrainian drones. The images shared showed Russian tanks destroyed by the Ukrainian army. In addition, interesting news about Russia's icebreaker ship is another important issue on the agenda. Now, if you are ready, let's analyze the Ukrainian army's attack and Putin's expansion plans. As the pioneer, we continue to report on the Russia-Ukraine war. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you don't miss our daily map reports and reports on the agenda. I also read all your comments on our videos. Please continue to share your ideas about our content in the comments with us in the comments. Tell us in the comments what content you would like to see on the Pioneer channel. Let's start if you are ready. The Pioneer reports. Recently, the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense published a video on social media. The video published by the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense was watched by thousands of people in a short time. The viewers shared their thoughts by making many comments on the video. In the video, the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense showed the successful attack that destroyed Russian tanks. The Ukrainian Ministry of Defense shared a two-minute video with an important caption last day, keeping the location information secret. Skilled drone operators of the National Guard have destroyed a Russian tank that came to evacuate, the caption read. According to independent sources, Russia has lost a significant portion of its tank stocks since the beginning of the war. The Ukrainian army has managed to destroy Russian tanks in attacks using drones. Russian officials, on the other hand, are worried about the depletion of their resources. Kyiv authorities have been successfully recording their operations since the beginning of the war. The images recorded by unmanned aerial vehicles are considered as an important achievement to share the successes of the Ukrainian army with the world. The war has many dimensions. The psychological dimension is one of the most important ones. For this reason, successful attack images shared from the battlefield make important contributions to the morale of the Ukrainian people and army. The video released by the Ukrainian Defense Ministry shows Ukrainian tanks in the field. The Ukrainian military has previously expressed satisfaction with the impact of the Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicles donated by the United States on advanced Russian tanks, including the T-90M. The Ukrainian army continues its active struggle, both in offensive positions and on the defensive fronts. Reports indicate that the Russian army is in a state of inaction in certain areas. 
As the Russian army is losing its gains, unrest within the army is growing. In addition, the rising opposition movements against Putin in Russia also lead to different claims about the future of the war. Vladimir Putin, the president of the Russian Federation, is struggling with great difficulties in return for the war he launched in Ukraine. The embargo and sanctions imposed on Russia are eroding Putin's leadership support and are expected to continue to do so until the elections. For this reason, the chances of Russian authorities making a mistake seem very low. A new plan has emerged for Putin, who has also suspended his mobilization moves to avoid public backlash. The other day, Vladimir Putin approved the construction of a new nuclear icebreaker ship in his country. After the interesting development, different claims about the purpose of the ship to be built created curiosity on the agenda. It was known by Ukrainian intelligence that Russia was making plans to create an alternative to the trade routes closed due to the war. Ukrainian intelligence is able to know Moscow's moves in advance thanks to its intelligence network. With Putin's approval of the construction of a nuclear icebreaker, his real purpose was revealed. Following a ceremony in St. Petersburg, construction work on the ship, named Leningrad, began. It was understood that the purpose of the ship was to create better passage routes to Russia. Russia's aim is to break the ice in the Arctic and make the region suitable for the passage of cargo ships. Faced with Western sanctions due to the attack on Ukraine, Russia aims to connect to the Northern Sea Route and the oceans from the Arctic to trade more with Asia by reducing distances and costs. The Russian president also reportedly acknowledged that the ship will be used for important exploration work in the Arctic and mentioned several Russian regions where he expects the icebreaker fleet to be used soon. In Chukotka, in Yamal, in Taimir, in Yakutia, in Yakutia, in all our other Arctic regions, such new powerful icebreakers and other high ice class ships are very much expected, Putin said. Stating that they will expand the Arctic fleet, Putin said they have set new and ambitious goals. Experts state that this move of Russia is made to gain public support before the upcoming elections. The embargo imposed on Russia has shaken the Russian economy considerably. For this reason, Russia is trying to turn its cargo ships towards Asia. The Moscow administration, which wants to reduce the devastating effects of the war by increasing